teachers and fellow students. Today, I'm going to talk about education innovation and future learning. But allow me to start with a question. How many of you studied in a public Chinese middle school before joining this international school? Okay, thank you. Me too. I am a student who transitioned from traditional education to international high school. I'm sure many of you have had similar experiences. Back in those schools, teachers would take turns lecturing us while we were required to sit straight, be quiet, and stay obedient. All electronic devices were strictly prohibited and were seen as utterly harmful distractions. All students, regardless of their interests, strengths, or weaknesses, were expected to learn the same material and repeatedly practice the identical questions until it became muscle memory. While this educational approach may appear efficient, is it truly effective for every individual student? Can we recognize how this highly standardized and passive learning system stifles creativity and diversity? I have my doubts, and I'm sure some of you do too. In most traditional public schools, education focuses on a singular goal, which is getting students admitted into good colleges. But what's overlooked is what comes next. Is it just about landing a good job and earning a high salary? Well, in today's rapidly changing world, relying on a single skill set for an entire lifetime is no longer feasible. Please reflect on this. Technology innovations are drastically transforming how we think, work, and interact with the rest of the world. Existing knowledge might be written on a biosensor chip implanted in our brain, so we don't have to memorize them. Here's an interesting statistic. Our parents' generation averaged five jobs in their lifetimes, most related to their educational background or prior experience. But we live in an entirely different era, defined by unpredictability and constant change. A staggering fact is that we are expected to switch our work sectors an average of 10 times through our lifetimes, each requiring a distinct set of skills. So the question is, what should we rely on in the future? What skills should we pursue? I feel fortunate to have joined WHBC for my high school education. Here, I've discovered a different way of learning, emphasizing analytical thinking rather than role memorization, fostering creativity rather than conformity, and encouraging initiative rather than obedience. These skills are crucial for thriving in the future because robots can automate tasks that rely on memorization and repetition. Our role as humans is to brainstorm ideas, solve complex problems, and direct these robots effectively. The emphasis of education ought to transition from passive absorption to proactive exploration facilitated by cutting edge tools. Proactive learning focuses on a singular goal, which is getting students admitted into good colleges. And two, in this educational model, teachers are no longer seen as a mini figure, which makes sense because no one can master all knowledge in a rapidly evolving world. Instead, teachers' roles have changed. They become facilitators, inspiring curiosity, engagement, and action. Children can collaborate with their teachers and peers to design curriculum aligned with personal goals. Subjects like chemistry, biology, physics, or mathematics can be embedded within engaging projects, mainly when fundamental knowledge is readily accessible within a mouse click in the vast ocean of the internet. The human AI interface delivers desired information to one's fingertip at an astounding speed. In this context, being able to ask a good question becomes more important than finding answers. For instance, Suppose you're working on your math homework, asking open-ended questions like, why is this method effective? Is there a better solution? Or what does this method aim to teach me? Can spark deeper understanding. Using real-world data for statistics and modeling can make learning more engaging and relevant to life. This approach enables us to think creatively and enhances problem-solving skills. Now, artificial intelligence, Whatever your opinion about it, we can't ignore its role in education. 
Well, concerns exist, like students becoming overly dependent on technology or forming emotional attachment to robots. We must learn to use AI wisely rather than fearfully. We should discern technology literacy from technology misuse and actively adapt ourselves to the ever-changing world already altered by technologies. For instance, consider Astronova, the school founded by Elon Musk. The school has been starting a new education style. Team thinking games are designed to help students learn by playing and collaboration. Students can work with their teams to connect various nodes, explore space and gather resources, score points in a futuristic game, and govern a Greek city-state. These games offer an outstanding balance of learning and entertainment that learners often don't get in regular classrooms. That way, knowledge will be more visual and less abstract. As Steve Jobs famously pointed out, innovation is the ability to see change as an opportunity, not a threat. Let's embrace the future of learning and develop a new way to redefine education. Thank you.